Hello, welcome to SPL Mixing. My name is Daniel Jason Booth. Today, what we're going to do is look at Audio Lens that is actually free from Isotope for just the next two weeks from today. If you're familiar with tonal balance control, which I've reviewed on the channel before, it works in a similar way. It captures information about a track, not the audio itself, and basically gives you this readout, which is from the lowest frequencies to the highest frequencies, and kind of presents it as a window in within which to place your audio. And by doing so, it allows you to reference. So this is actually a standalone product and it runs from the desktop so i can bring up something like spotify and go to say some of my favorite tracks so at this stage what it's doing is it's capturing data about the eq the dynamics the loudness and the stereo width and so it captures everything about this particular track okay so now we've got that I've already gone ahead and done this myself. Interesting to note, 20K Magic and High Horse, they're both mixed by the same mixing engineer. So that's pretty revealing in and of itself. I've got all these different captures that I've done of different songs that I like, and you can do this too, or you can just play songs through your sound system and see how they compare to this target curve here. So it's capturing loudness, dynamics, EQ, and stereo width. And with all of that information, not the audio itself, it can then inform Isotope Ozone 10 or Neutron 4 and tell them how to get your song to sound like the reference. So in this case, I've got this song. Let me just play it for you from the start. As people keep driving to places I dreamed of, I'll still be hiding. In a safe place that I call It's what I call home We've got some drums later on that come in here This is the night I'll say my goodbye That sounds pretty cool but let's just put it to the test and on uh, what we need to do is we need to play from that point Eyes, it's time to keep an open mind leave my behind wake up feeling like somebody new. so i'm quite partial to the Casey Musgraves track High Horse. It's just got a really nice tonal balance. But the cool thing is, is that once you've captured it with audio lens, we can actually bring it up in Ozone 10 and it will start building a mastering chain based on that reference track, which is super cool. So let's have a listen and we'll have a bit of a play. And just like that, it's already sounding a lot better. So it's cleaned up a lot of muddiness and got it closer to this target curve. If you want to see what it's done, you click on this and we can go in. We can see it's added a bunch of low ends. It's smoothed over the top end. Uh, we've got this stabilizer thing, which uh, is a little bit like the Golfos, where it's like a AI EQ. So overall, it's just brought it more in line with the reference. The other cool thing that it does is that all of the audio lens uh, references that you put into it, they can be used for individual tracks using Neutron. Now, I unfortunately don't have any examples of it, but if you can imagine if you've got, say, a crunchy drum sound that starts a track before the whole band comes in or something like that, you can go in, you can use Audio Lens to capture just that part of it, and you can match the tonality of that and the dynamics 
and the loudness and it's a way that you can get that much closer to it because it's not just doing EQ it's not just EQ matching it's actually you know putting it much closer than I think I've heard previous versions of Ozone do. Now, for those who don't have Ozone 10 or Neutron 4, you should be able to play back songs through here. I can play a different reference track through Spotify. So I'll play something like this. And what I can do is compare it to the different curves of the others. And this is the actual song here. So great way just to have a look at the different profiles of different material. What a time to be making music. Great technology. You've got two weeks to grab it. If anything, it will help you compare different references. But the beauty of it too is that you don't have to bring those references then into your session, which has always been a bit of a pain for me. And now you've essentially got a tonal balance style way of comparing different tracks. It, it actually puts the power in your hands so that you can go and choose exactly what you want something to sound like rather than just leaving it up to an algorithm. Go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching and happy mixing.